Well, it appears some high school basketball teams and the adults that run those programs were cheating so that the teams could win more games. A uh, big problem across the uh, city. Several schools impacted. Uh, now, in some cases, basketball players were failing, but they were still allowed to play. They were given passing grades. And in one case, uh, one player was just too old to be playing high school basketball. Once again, several schools impacted, including uh, South Shore and Thomas Jefferson High Schools. New York One's Ron Lee joins us tonight with all of the details in this uh, sports drama. He is in Brooklyn. Ron. Hey there, Dean. Well, when it comes to sports, it's often easier to accept a loss when you know that you have given it your all and that you've played by the rules. But after the championship round of a major public school basketball tournament was canceled yesterday, the topic of cheating is now on many people's minds. But it just hurts me to say, wow, maybe in the past, those miserable nights, those losses that eat me up, that destroy me, were really wins. As the most winning basketball coach in the history of the Public School Athletic League, legendary coach Ron DeClario of Benjamin Cardozo High School told me after learning that Friday's PSAL championship had been canceled due to the bombshell disqualification of the South Shore Campus Boys Varsity Basketball Team, which is seen here in video from 2022, he couldn't help but wonder if other teams that had beaten his Cardozo judges over the past few seasons had also been cheating. The people are trying their best, and I think this can of worms that has been open is going to finally get it that there's going to be a stamping, a clapping down on, hey, if you can't beat them, well, you're not going to cheat them. In a statement, New York City Schools Chancellor David Banks said for the first time in four years, random eligibility audits were conducted which led to the discovery that the South Shore Campus Boys Varsity Basketball Team had violated age eligibility rules, while the Thomas Jefferson Campus Boys Varsity Basketball Team from East New York, which is seen here in video from last season, had been found in violation over academic eligibility. In a statement, Banks said, quote, In simple terms, adults put the long-term future of young people second to momentary high school glory on the court. These adults are not helping students, they are only helping themselves. Banks also says we referred each case to the Special Commissioner of Investigation and we will not shy away from taking appropriate disciplinary action against any staff who chose to cheat in our athletic contests. And sources tell New York One one student was simply too old to be playing high school basketball, with sources also telling us an athletic director had changed the grades of some of the players. Meantime, it is unclear if the PSAL tournament that was canceled yesterday, it's unclear if it will finish at another time or if there simply won't be a winner this year. In Brooklyn, Romney, New York One, Dave Baxter. Wow, a lot going on. Thank you.